What's going on guys? This is probably going to be kind of an obnoxious video, but um, there's a lot of talk about hubs right now. Um, and, you know, big hands making it difficult to hub. Um, and I guess whenever you do talk about guys with huge hands like Mike Burke, um, Mark Felix, and, and, and the like, you know, those guys do have uh, more trouble hubbing, but... Um, I guess hands that are longer than eight inches from the crease of the wrist to the end of the middle finger, um, hands that are like eight inches or so, those are typically considered big hands. And I um, don't want to use an anecdote uh, as as evidence, but I think that it's more of a hand flexibility thing um, when your hands are kind of a medium size and not just gargantuan like some of the really big strongman types. So I'm going to go downstairs. I haven't worked out at all today. Um, no chalk on my hands. Uh, just kind of, I do have a grip workout later on today, but I'm not planning to uh, uh, go very heavy. But I just want to go down and show that even under the same kind of uh, conditions where people have a... Uh, say a grip competition um, or they're not like you know at their peak or their absolute best um, you can still you can still develop the the technique the pinch pinch strength and hand flexibility required to do a really good um, a really good hub lift um, let's see here trying to position this ruler on my hand so that I can show that my hand is, is uh, or my, what, what length my hand is. So let's take a look here. So here's my palm, there's the palm crease, here's the ruler. I'm going to lay my palm so that the crease is right over the ruler. Let me scoot back just a little bit. And if we look over here, we've got approximately eight and a quarter or so it's kind of hard to see eight and a quarter all right so let's go and I'm gonna just throw some chalk on my hand and start start lifting on the hub and see what we can get to in I don't know a minute or two of lifting so let me get the old tripod get you guys set up so you can see what I'm doing here and we can get started The lifting area. So here is my authentic Iron Mind hub. You can see it's it's chalked up already. Um, this one doesn't hold an exceptional amount of chalk or anything, but I have chalked it a lot. So we've got that. We've got a carabiner. We've got. Uh, an FBBC loading pin and a 45 plate. Chalk these hands up. Let's go to Well, I'll wait real quick. Fifty nine point So, 69 pounds. 
<laughs> I get some of that phlegm in my hand to get extra grip. So this is 69 pounds. And I'll turn sideways so you can see what I'm doing here. I turn my thumb sideways a little bit. So that's where my left hand gives up. And then um, throw on another seven and a half ish. I should be able to get this with my right hand, even though I've only been lifting for a minute or two. Turn sideways so you can see I'm not doing anything funny. Okay, so um, let's move so you guys can see the scale. Seventy-six point eight pounds. This is difficult. All right, so. 76.7. I'll uh, lift this up. You can see that it's zero. Seventy-six point seven. So with an eight and a quarter inch hand and no warm up, um, I well, no warm up. I can pull 76 pounds pretty, not easily, but you get it. Anyway, with a little bit of uh, pinch training, hand flexibility, even someone with over eight inch hands can do well on the hub. So keep training.